That sounds good. Are you ready? You're going to have one piece, and I'll tell you why you get to do one piece in just a minute, okay? Is that piece there look okay, Paul? Look okay? I think that looks great if you're going to do that. Guys. All right, sweetie, and if you'll go right up to the top, okay? You can hold on to this if you need to. Now, our number one thing is don't let her grab you, all right? She's really slow, but if she puts her hand up, take your hand down, all right? She's going to get it from you. Take it to the center of her mouth. Yeah. Now, when she takes it, just let it go. Oh, let her grab it. Keep it right still. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I got you another one. Okay, this one's a little harder. Okay. Perfect job. You're doing really good. Very good. Now you can let go. Great oh, job. Maybe it's going to fall. That's okay. You know what? You just gave some to the bunny. You want to give her some back rubs? You rub on her back. Let's use that hand and you hold on with that one, okay? Only on her back. Very good. So Betsy is 15 years old. At one point in time, she was a wild and free animal. But people thought it would be a good idea to take her out of the rainforest and bring her into captivity. Actually, about 95% of all the sloths that you see in captivity are still wild caught. They're very difficult to keep here. So we can only give Betsy just one or two pieces of banana because she only uses the bathroom. She only uses the bathroom once a week. Yeah, and so it's take only on her back, okay? No touch her on her face. Okay, good. And then she might turn and we'll just get her a break and then she turns back and her rubber store. Right? Yeah, so if she turns to look at you, let's just let her have a break. And then when she turns back around, you can rub her store. No, I don't have a break. Really cool? You're doing really good. So yeah, sloths eat a lot, okay? But they only use the potty once a week. So if she has too much sugar, like bananas in her system, then it'll actually make her really, really sick. It's like a diabetic state. So, do you know a lot about sloths? Well, we read some books, but sometimes I forget because they're like really big ones. They are, yeah. So, sloths go in about 35 years in captivity, so Betsy has like another 20 to go. So, when you're a grown up, you can still come back and visit Betsy, hopefully. Um, they rarely ever come down from the trees, but they do to use the potty. And they're really good at swimming. Did you know that? Does this one have butterflies in it? No. But if she was outside, sometimes all the algae and stuff that grows on them, the butterflies do like that. And they'll come and sleep on them and nibble on them. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Do you have questions about her? Well, um, you don't know? You just want me to tell you some more cool stuff? She sleeps about 20 hours a day. The only time she wakes up is for people like you to give her scratches and snacks. So she has a pretty awesome life, right? We have to cut her toenails because they don't wear down like they do out in the wild. Watch the door here, guys. And in the wild, they're actually green. Do you know that? They're green, but she's not because the humidity and stuff's different here. She's not exposed to a lot of things. Is there, any, is there some more sloths that have different eyes? Yeah, there's a couple different types of sloths. There's the green-toed sloth and the sheep and the so Betsy's an old girl, but she does still have really big teeth. Now, if you could, you can try to rub her again, but if she turns over, you just want to give her a break. Very good. You're okay. You can do it if you want to. Very good. Did she just <laughs> she slobber on you? I think that's the first time anyone's ever been slobbered on by sloth. That's pretty cool. Did you guys have it also? Were you ready to switch?